I'm excited to get going. And there's the stupid, stupid, stupid sun setting. <sighs> Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 6 of the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Minecraft. Uh, if you remember from the last episode, we built this beast of an eyesore there. Um, this is uh, our our iron golem farm, or, an, or our iron farm. Every once in a while, an iron golem is going to appear, drop down there, get taken apart by the lava, and we're going to get all of his iron and those random flowers he drops. So that'll be a nice secondary source of iron for us. I don't think this thing really produces it fast enough to become our only source of iron, but uh, given all the things I want to do that have high hoppers, uh, this will be nice to have. Uh, at some point, I kind of want to finish up the below, you know, some support structures or whatever, something to make it look like it's not so uh, floaty if you will. But that's not what we're going to be working on today. Today we're going to be working over in the valley that has our skeleton XP farm. And what we're going to end up doing there is uh, I think we're going to build some kind of mountain monastery, if you will. Uh, and we're going to start off uh, building uh, the main gate slash wall for that in this episode. I think it should be pretty fun. I think uh, we're going to make it look kind of kind of epic. Uh, it'll be a good looking wall. I think we're going to even have like some meditation f platforms or, or, or something like that on there too. So I'm really excited to get going on this. So I am going to let you guys go and I'm going to head over that way. Okay guys, here is the site where we will be begin our monastery. I want it to be kind of a, uh, really kind of incorporate and work with the mountain. Uh, I don't know if I'm going for like an oriental monastery or what I'm doing. Um, but I've got a pretty cool idea in mind for at least the opening wall, uh, wall. So we're going to, this will be the front of our wall and it's going to go across this entire valley. Uh, so that's a pretty big project and I'm actually pretty excited to get started on it. So I am going to start laying down, well, first I got to go gather some materials, then I'm going to start laying down, uh, our base wall. Very cool thing about playing on a server with a bunch of your friends is every once in a while you log on to this. So let's check out what we got. Oh, a couple slime balls. Cool. Uh, I think my friend had seen my video where I complained about not having sticky pistons and gave me a nice gift. That's awesome. Uh, that's enough sticky pistons to get us a, a hopper clock, uh, which could be used for some very interesting things. Hey there, Mr. Pig. So everybody who's ever decided to fortify or put a wall in a valley has built this. This super tall just super plain same block everybody's built this wall and it's fine it's it certainly does the job but we can make we're gonna use that wall that everybody has made and we're gonna make it just a little bit easier to look at this will be the first step in dressing up this wall uh, adding the stone brick columns as if they look kind of like for support and what I'm going to do now is make those columns look a little more ornate maybe even a little more sturdy so at the base we'll start putting in stairs to uh, make it seem like the base is spreading out and let's see what we got there there there. Then between them, we'll put some uh, some half slabs. And see, already there, that looks like it's you know spraying out a little bit. The the uh, 
it gives some three dimension uh gives some more dimension to to the build let me show you what's going on uh up at the top here i haven't done anything with the back yet um i wanted to get the front first uh but up here we've got uh, a hallway i'm using dark oak and oak slabs and what's going to come out of here where these little walkways are at is this is going to be kind of like a uh a mountain monastery if you will and so out here will be little I guess we'll call them meditation platforms where you know the, the monks can come out here and and meditate and become one with the universe or you know whatever monks do uh, these are non-denominational monks by the way uh, they don't know kung fu and they don't make brandy Okay, we're up at the top of the wall, and I think we're going to go ahead and put in the meditation platform. Uh, actually, I think we'll put in all four of them, and then we will go down below and work the concrete supports into the design. But let's see. We're going to have the whole thing kind of raised. Let's see what we got here. There we go. So basically when, when the monk comes up, they can come and kneel here on this little, on this little pedestal and, and do whatever it is monks do in Minecraft. Okay, we've finished the majority of the stone that we're going to use on our wall. Uh, and if you look up here, you can kind of see I'm using the blocks that we had used up top up top for our walkway and our meditation platforms and I'm going to kind of be using those blocks to spice up this wall and kind of sort of tie the theme together and kind of do some inset dark oak wood uh, again to bring a little bit of the the colors that we're using up top and down here and again to kind of break up all the gray um, you know we've done some good work uh, having the 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 wall a little more dimensional uh, I think makes it look a little looks a lot better actually and then using these different textures has gone a long way to making the wall look a lot better than that original huge cobblestone wall did uh, and now we're just going to kind of keep layering on a little bit of detail and kind of make everything look better so I'm gonna keep working in some of these blocks uh, first I'm gonna repeat this over here and then I'm gonna do a few more things out here uh, and I'll hop back on and show you guys what I'm doing then okay we're gonna continue adding just a little bit of detail to everything so let's see dark oak in for the backing and some regular oak stairs in there let's do it one more time again some dark oak regular oak I've already done the pattern on the other side and let's back up and take a look at oh that's not too smart let's back up and just take a look at everything see that's that is so much better than just that original massive cobblestone wall we had all right, this is the back of our wall done, and it's pretty much just a mirror image of the other side. Uh, there's a bit more column here uh, because it's narrower on the far side, but 
that doesn't hurt anything. Uh, right now, it looks a little bland up here, but that's because we're not quite done with it. Um, that's actually the next thing I'm going to do is putting kind of the roof on on this, and I think it's the roof that's really going to make it look less like a castle wall and more more like a monastery, if you will. Hi guys, I wanted to have a quick talk, quick talk to you about uh, my schedule. As many of you know, I had been posting my Let's Plays on Wednesday afternoons, and I am going to be changing that to uh, Friday uh, afternoons. I'm going to start using the uh, YouTube's scheduled uploader, or whatever you want to call it, and my, my videos will be coming out uh, Friday early afternoon now. So uh, basically, this w this episode that you're watching now is going to post on Wednesday, like it had been, like episodes had been, and then in two days on Friday, I'm going to have another full episode of uh, the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Minecraft, and then from then on out, uh, the full episodes will be coming out every Friday. One other thing I'm really looking at doing is starting to post what I'm kind of thinking in my, at least calling in my head, Minecraft minis. They're, these are little, you know, five minute videos, maybe a, a quick build or a tutorial or just something silly that happened to me, um, but not quite as involved as my regular episodes, you know, just, you know, a little quick, a little quicker that... Those would hopefully come out on Wednesdays, at least weeks when I have the time to uh, to actually do them. And I don't know, what do you guys think? Does that sound like something you guys would want to watch? Uh, if there's in any interest in that, you know, hey, let me know in the comments. So I've put in uh, dark oak fencing up here on both sides to act as sort of a trellis for the upper walkway. And next we're going to put in a roof. And I just really wanted to say, I'm really enjoying this build right now. I really like the way this is turning out, and I'm just having an absolute blast with this. We are done with the wall, and I think it looks pretty good. This is going to be the, the first fortified wall to our, to our mountain monastery. And I am really excited. I really enjoyed doing this build. This is what Minecraft is for me. This is this is the part I really enjoy. I I like the redstone. I like the adventuring. I'm trying to get better at both, uh, and they're fun to learn. They're fun to get better at. But the the creative aspect is just what really appeals to me. You know, there just aren't many games where like oh I'm going to cap off this valley with a wall and I'm going to make it awesome I just you know that's just what I love about this game and I think this wall looks really good uh, you know we, we've broken up the gray a little bit got some different textures some different depths and uh, yeah this is great so we've got our fortified fortified wall going in uh, we have a few meditation platforms up here for our non-denominational monks to become one with the universe, because uh, I think that's important if you're a monk, else why become a monk? Uh, and we come inside, and you know, I, we got some detail on this this inside, uh, just inside the gate here, that I just really like. I I like the fact that. Everything about this just has a little bit extra put into it. Uh, then we can come out here and check out the back. Uh, no meditation platforms uh, because a monk should look out or in. I don't know. But anyway, there are no meditation platforms back here. Um, you'll notice that there are also no stairs to get up to those meditation platforms. Uh, and that's something we're going to be doing, but what I have in mind, I don't think we can fit it into the rest of this episode. And now, this monastery is going to be kind of an ongoing project with me. Uh, it's going to go into 
this mountain here and it will probably go, make its way into this mountain here uh, it's going to occupy you know this entire area I know I said this whole monastery was non-denominational but there may be a giant yin yang symbol involved at some point I don't think I can let myself not do that Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this episode of The Casually Avid Gamer Plays Minecraft. I really like this episode. Uh, I like the build that we did. I think it was just a lot of fun. I like what we're doing. I like this wall. Uh, we're here in the upper walkway on top of it. There, we still don't have an official way to get up here, but that will we'll take care of that in a future episode. And let's get down and take a look at the one at the bottom. We got a little water there. Let's go take a look. I just, uh, you know, I've enjoyed this immensely. I really like how that wall turned out. And I'm really excited for the monastery that we're going, going to be building beyond it. And as I kind of mentioned before, that monastery is going to be one heck of an ongoing project. Uh, I'm just, I'm super stoked about it. And I want to do a lot of things in there. I want it to be kind of an epic build. Or at least, you know, epic for me. So with that in mind, if you have any ideas, thoughts, or suggestions about what we should do in this monastery, please throw them down in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear from you. Uh, I've, I've loved the ideas I've gotten so far out of the comments. And I'd like to get more. This has just been really awesome. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm really enjoying this. If you're enjoying it, please leave a like, subscribe. Uh, you know, if if you if this is something you'd like to check out every week when I do it, please subscribe, uh, leave a like, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, constructive criticisms, anything like that. Those help me so much, and I really get a charge out of them. So thank you, thank you, thank you again for tuning in. And I think I will talk to you guys next time. Hey guys, one last heads up before I go. The Casually Avid Gamer is now, crazily enough, on Twitter. So if you guys would like to follow me, uh, Casually Avid Gamer, at Casually Avid, I'll put, a, I'll put the stuff up on the screen here. Uh, I promise I'm not going to flood your, your, your Twitter feed too much. Uh, mostly it's just going to be updates about what's going on in the channel. Um, or maybe little amusing bits of frivolity that I can kind of come up with. Uh, for example, my, uh, my four-year-old son who we've just shown the star, the original Star Wars movies for the first time was walking down the hallway today, uh, humming the Imperial March for himself. So, yeah, my kid's a Sith, and I'm okay with that, oddly enough. But anyway, please follow me on Twitter. Remember what I said last episode about hating creepers? Yeah, I hate creepers.